Here we go. St story. <laughs> Let's have the story time. <sighs> okay. So this is my great big embarrassing Degrassi adventure. I think under the circumstances, I have been pretty upfront about embarrassing things that I like. And if there's any example that I set in this world, it's that like what you like, love what you love, put all your passion and heart in it. Throughout my life, I have always, I don't, I might have hit it a little bit in junior high and high school, but I love Degrassi. I started watching it from its inception, from the kids of Degrassi Street. Even as a child, I knew that it was something great. I knew that it was not like other television. It was like independent movies, the way that it was shot. And it was, it was like it was shot with film, but everything was back then. They were little art films and it was so unique and it was so multicultural. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. Then came Degrassi Junior High. Stephanie K changed her clothes in the bathroom. I remember my mouth dropping open. It was still Degrassi, but they had taken it to the next level. And I was like, what is going on here? And then Degrassi High, they've had other spinoffs. Degrassi Talks, a feature film. It's now still going. I mean, it's up in the air right now because of... Uh, politics and buyouts and stuff like that so I'm not sure if anyone knows what its fate is I'm absolutely 100% that we will get more Degrassi unlike most people I believe it kept its heart all the way through it I still see what Linda Schuyler has always brought to it it's always there it's always been there so anyway there was this tour announced pat masterani joey jeremiah has been touring with comic conventions and meeting fans and signing autographs through that he has brought in other cast members and taken the show on the road and gone to other places which is awesome meeting fans and everything so there's a bus tour Last year, he put together a tour. I think it went over really well because he then he's done it again this year, and it was bigger and better than ever with more and more cast. You get on a school bus, and Joey Jeremiah takes you around, and he shows you all of the sights and things. I had to pay $150, I believe that's what it was, for this tour. Or you could have paid $30 and just gone to the theater afterwards. But I wanted the whole Degrassi experience. I thought this might never happen again. I thought this might be the biggest one ever because most of the cast would come and want to participate in this. It was very reluctant to do it. I don't know anyone who would go with me. I've been to these things before in recent years and it seems to be mostly they're going to be more hipster kids that have discovered Degrassi in reruns. Usually not people my age and I was right there wasn't a lot of people my age. So that part was a little embarrassing. Me in general in a scenario where I don't know anyone I'm really quiet and reserved anyway. Now we get into fandom. These people were a little these were eccentric people, but that's my people. I mean, I embrace that. I embrace people who let their freak flag fly. And that's why I love you guys. I know that I have a special kind of audience here that not everyone can appreciate this. It frightens a lot of people sometimes when you are so open and you don't care what other people think like i mean i must care what other people think if i was embarrassed in this situation okay so i'm on the bus tour there's people singing two things about degrassi that i do not appreciate which i think most of the cast would probably agree with me too are the theme song and the zit remedies anthem people wanted to sing those songs over and over and over again that was really hard on me. There was a single seat in the back of the bus. 
<laughs> That's the seat I got. I was sitting in the seat I had of that, but then other people came on that wanted to sit together. And of course I said, oh, here, I'll just sit in this seat back there by myself. I showed up late. I didn't know I was that late, but I also wasn't like pushing ahead in the line or anything. I was just casually sitting back. I knew there'd be a seat for me on the bus. I didn't have to sit with anybody. So I'm sitting back there and they're singing, wake up in the morning feeling shy and lonely. And I'm... Ugh. But the, I mean, I mean, uh, it's okay. I understand. Not a problem. I just, they're just not songs that I enjoy. I love the music from Degrassi. Pretty awesome, amazing things. Wendy Watson made a lot of the music in Degrassi, and she was Mrs. Gonzalez in the original Kids of Degrassi Street, and that's super cool. I'm on the bus. So yeah, I don't really have anyone to talk to or anything. Big, long drives in between everything. It's Saturday, lots of traffic. These are all places that I've been a million times because I live in Toronto. So I've been to these places and been inside these places and looked around and recognized all the spots and I knew where what was shot and where we saw that. I was expecting, I guess, some stories that I hadn't heard before. I know a lot about Degrassi. There's probably people out there that know more than I do, but I've read every article, seen every news story, every documentary, everything. I have stuff throughout the years. I have discussion activity guides from all of the years. I have many copies of each. I have health curriculum that they would use in school to educate you with Degrassi. I have every book, every DVD ever made. I have calendars and posters. There's like Kids of Degrassi Street synopsises that were, I love this, like the classic <laughs> Kids of Degrassi Street. Newspaper clippings from all the incarnations. I have book standees when the books first came out and contest forms. I used to have this in a scrapbook, but the scrapbook was huge. So I have all these classic newspaper clippings. I was a member of the fan club. So I have fan club newsletters. It's signed by Janet Webb. There's Mr. Wallfish. There's some Degrassi talks. Paraphernalia, Time Magazine article. There's an ad for the School's Out movie. Back to the bus again. First is Degrassi Street. Degrassi Street has two sections. We go up the second section, which nothing was ever even filmed on. The one good thing about this part of Degrassi Street was that it's the only original sign that's left at the very end of it in the Chinatown. So that part is cool, and people did get out and took pictures. Uh, basically... It was really quick. People jumped out, took pictures of Mr. Radage and Joey in front of the sign. They said, if you want to take a picture of the sign, you can get out. A lot of the people stayed on the bus. I stayed on the bus because I can take a picture of that sign anytime I want. So then we just swing by there. While we were at Degrassi Street, it's right near so many things. It's right near the production office, which I passed by the next day because I was over there and this is what the production office looks like. Across the street was a shopper's drug mart that they filmed. I don't know why they didn't go that way and show us those things. I don't know if it was the bus driver missed where they were supposed to go. There could have been so many things that we saw. We could have gone by the park that they shot so many scenes from the kids at a grassy street in. I noticed that we drove by another park and all of these people were saying, oh, that's the park from the fight. And I just kept my mouth closed because that wasn't the park. That was some other park because we didn't go near where the actual places were. Now that I think about it, we took a really strange route. There was some kind of reasoning. I don't know. It was Saturday. The roads were busy. Next stop is Degrassi High. We go in. Joey says, go explore and look at it. It's just, just have fun. Pose. Take some pictures on the ramp. Do whatever silliness you want to do, because this is your time, and I want you to kind of so good all around, and I don't want to have to talk the whole time, but if you do have a question, please pose one to either myself or Mr. Radish, and we'd be happy to answer. Luckily, he did tell a few stories there. They had 
one of my favorite YouTube channels, interviewing people, it looked like. It's called Encore Plus. They have classic Degrassi on there. They're curating all kinds of like early 80s, 90s, even back even further, movies, television shows from Canada. They are not just CBC. They're not just National Film Board. I don't know why or how they get the things that they do, but it's like maybe a Canadian cultural thing. So it was really cool that they were doing something for it. From there, we went all the way back to Etobicoke, where Degrassi Junior High is, which I was just today. I was right there at Degrassi Junior High. I actually went in side on a Saturday a few years ago because they had a ESL class going on. On It was a Saturday or Sunday. I was in the area for some reason. And so I went inside and I took some pictures and I am so happy that I did that. I'm not sure if that has changed. I don't think so. I don't see how it would be any different. I would think that the popularity would be less now, in fact, than it was a few years ago when I went inside. But Pat mentioned something about they don't want people inside the building. I don't know. I was by myself one day and I just heard people talking up stairs. I tried the door, I opened it, I went inside. I'm not condoning this. I don't know if you're allowed to do this. I don't know if you should do this. Okay, so we go to Degrassi Junior High. I hide while they're taking the group picture. We were there way too long, just outside. But lots of people got pictures with, I don't know, with Joey and Mr. Radage. Mr. Radage was on one of the buses. He was on my bus, which was awesome in the beginning, but then him and Joey switched buses. Okay, then we go to the theater. Uh, we were running late because the travel was so long. Really long time on the bus. Used up all my batteries on my phone while I you know, entertained myself for the long bus trip. I could have sang Everybody Wants Something with everybody else. Everybody has to sing in yourself. You must believe. Give it a try. Okay, so then we don't have much time. I order some food from a restaurant and go to the theater really quickly. They're playing a video. I think it was Degrassi Between Takes or maybe it was an interview that I have on my Degrassi YouTube channel. So the tour really wasn't suited for me. I mean, if you're from out of town or you don't know anything about Degrassi, it probably would be fun to go on the bus tour. But for me, I didn't see anything new. I didn't hear anything new. Mr. Radage was really funny. That was cool. You all have a bus buddy. Yeah, yeah. You're responsible to stay with that bus buddy throughout the day. You all get separated from your bus buddy. If we start to misbehave, I will take the bus representing Degrassi. Yeah. And we want to put our best foot forward. Okay, get into the theater, I sit down. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I needed a button. The one thing, they gave you a button when you got on the bus originally, and that button was what cost me $150 and I lost it. I'm really upset about that because that was my, that was what I got from it, a $150 button. I did get this book signed. Probably have more signatures in here than anybody else who has this book because I've gone to a lot of different Degrassi talks and events and I always bring this book and I have everybody sign the page that they're featured on. For some reason when I have this, when I have a purpose, I'm not shy. Really nice to meet Judy Shiner. I, there's this documentary that I put on my Degrassi YouTube channel that's called Izargid, the Degrassi flashback. I've watched it a million times, so it was really cool to see her in modern day. She was so informative in the documentary. So was Catherine Ellis in that. Check that out. If you like Degrassi, go to my Degrassi YouTube channel and check out those videos. So at the movie theater, there was a screening of six episodes and then a Q&A at the end with the biggest panel of cast members and Judy Shiner, a big Q&A, so it was awesome. Again, kind of some cringier questions were asked, but I, I dealt with it. I recorded the whole thing. I thought it was awesome. I uploaded it on YouTube. Right now, I don't have access to my Degrassi 
YouTube page. I was locked out. I forgot the password. So I thought, okay, I was a little bit embarrassed again about uploading it to my toy channel because it really had nothing to do with it. But I have been vlogging a lot lately, like this one, for example. This is story time. So I upload it. It's there for a day and then this morning I get a message from Joey Jeremiah really mad like I didn't know if he was joking or not saying I talked to you last year about I didn't even know about it last year I found out way too late and it was sold out I was really happy that this year because they had their test run that this year was even bigger and better but anyway he he was he was mad and he said you went against my wishes and put it up and i'm like uh, uh, what? like some of you have mentioned here that you wanted to see, because i kept talking about it, i was going on this degrassi tour and people said oh i'm really wish i could go on that i would let me know people messaged me and said i hope you can show me some stuff i hope you vlog it i just said something like um okay i don't know what you're talking about i will take it down and so i did other people put theirs up he said something about making money from it or something I, I don't make any money here i wish i did make money like comment share and subscribe so one day that maybe i will make some money so super embarrassed i don't know i uh, i don't know what i i don't know whose toes i stepped on i don't know if i will ever go to anything like this again i remember being so grateful last year that he put stuff on facebook because then i was able to see the action and what was going on and i thought that was really cool yeah no i'm super super embarrassed I lost my $150 button. I do have some other buttons that I've had from the past around here somewhere. I put up a picture on Instagram of me and I said my junior high school friends, because they really were my junior high school friends. I didn't have any friends. Degrassi was my friends. I don't have any friends now. Degrassi is still my friends. You guys are my friends. I love you guys. You know I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, so that's my cringy, embarrassing... Look, I'm using YouTube words. Cringy is a YouTube word. One day I might be a real YouTuber. Okay, so yeah, that's it. The best part of all of this was the cast panel, though, and seeing everybody going and getting their signatures. I did miss one person. I didn't realize that I missed her. I was there right to the end. I was one of the last people there, so I got over my embarrassment at least a little bit. I was like, I'm gonna get all my signatures, <laughs> and I did pretty good. This girl, she didn't go on the panel. She was sitting in the audience, but for my picture, I made sure that she was in the photograph yeah i'm a giant degrassi nerd i know everything about degrassi all right that's my cringy degrassi story i mean no harm to anyone and i feel that somebody was mad at me for uploading my video he said something about nothing upsetting him except for this for the whole tour and i'm like oh my goodness <sighs> That's my story. That's my adventure. <laughs> I am so oblivious to so many things that... Uh, the times that people think that I mean something that I don't. I'm just in my own little world asking questions. People think that I'm like insinuating stuff. Nobody expects me to be and like the thing I am. People automatically think I'm some kind of jerk and I get treated that way. But I, I mean, no. Uh.